and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Um, this is gonna kill me, isn't it? Yeah, this is gonna kill me. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? No. In reality, no. all he's doing is I don't want to push buttons. buttons I don't want to push your buttons. Ah! The longer he spends here, the more invested no. he gets. The more he forgets no. which life is the real. No. And I'm trying to tell him this: that in ah! this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this, Stanley. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm not pushing it. See, I'm following your directions. Let me leave! Just sit in this chair and do absolutely nothing. Because I'm not listening to you. Well, I am listening to you, but I'm not listening to you. Am I really listening to you? God, this game is making me crazy already. But then again, it was already crazy, so that doesn't really matter. But yes. All is crazy. I am crazy. We are all crazy. I see no alternative. Let us push the button. You see? Can he just not hear me? Oh. How can I tell him in a way oh, that he wow. understand that every second he remains here, oh, he's wow. electing to kill himself? I'm at the beginning again. How can again, I get him to see I? what I see? I'm How can I make again. him look at himself? I'm at the beginning. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. Go to the door already! I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. <laughs> and I, oh, I like this game. This game is nice. It's already boggling my mind. Okay, let's try again. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I and got then... what I wanted. Ah, yes. When Stanley came to a set of two open yes, doors, yes, I did. he entered the door. Or did I? It's about a matter of perspective. Yet yes. there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave <laughs> of disbelief, Stanley. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. <laughs> I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy. Coming to a staircase, <laughs> Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ah, this is fun. This is fun. Oh, this is fancy. Which way is the boss's office? This way. This way the boss's office? Executive bathroom. Interesting. They have an executive bathroom. They have like an executive everything. A manager for everything. I like it. This is a nice... Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. So. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, hi. Huh. Interesting. It's not suspicious for a boss to have a secret passageway. Um, giant red button. Oh, look! Should I be afraid that I push the giant red button? Usually things explode when I push the giant red button. Usually. Usually. Oh well. Didn't seem to explode. Do do do. 
do do do. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Hey, okay. Where am I going? What's going on? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh-huh. Huh. Slightly unnerving. Slightly. Only slightly. What's this? What does this do? Do I push it? Yes, I push it. The lights rose on the whole that's cool. television screens. What horrible Whoa. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Um Yes. Yes, Stanley has the strength to find out. Let us find this out. Push more buttons. Push more buttons! Now the monitors jump to life. They're true revealed. Each bore the number of an employee right. in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Hmm. S what? What? I'm lost. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions huh. had been manipulated? There I am, over there. Blindly? That's my room. That's my room. That's my room over there. Okay, what's this thing? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Yes. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Most people do. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided buttons, buttons, that this buttons, machinery buttons. would never again exert its terrible power buttons. over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So, what does that do? What does this do? That doesn't do anything. Um, so, what am I doing? How am I doing it? What's gonna happen? Uh, there's a big red button. 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 Must not push. Big. Oh, I'm pushing the big red button. What? Nothing happens when I push the big red button. That was uneventful. Highly uneventful. What's up here? Let's see. Here. Let's go to the top. Go to the left. Go to the left. Left, play it, gas. Oh, okay. I th I think I got it. Okay, that makes somewhat. Oh, okay. I think I know how to do this. I think I know. Yes, I've been trying to jump for like the past 15 minutes. I've been trying to jump, but I could not jump. It was priceless. Just got that achievement. Can't jump. That's five. Where's three? Three surrenders somewhere. That three? That's gotta be three. Yep, that's three. There's three. Found three. Pushing three. And let's go push four. That's four. This is five. That's four or five. That is four. Okay, let's go push four. Because this is the button I need to push. I push four. Really wish I could just jump off of this thing. But I can't do that. Because it's highly uncivilized. And in the Stanley Parable. Everything is civilized. Uh, one, 
to sprint. Can't sprint. Is there another button I have to push? Um, how do I push the big red button? Nope, can't push the big red button, so... Um, let's see, can I open this door? Cannot open that door. That is disappointing. I did like nothing. I am highly disappointed that that did nothing. I even sought out the buttons to push them. Hey, look. It's a giant. I wish my computer monitor was this big. That'd be so cool. So cool. And when at last he found the source of the wound's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. I don't know. I kind of want to turn it on to see what happens. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yes. Oh, that is what I want. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you That's want to turn my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, God damn it, narrator! It's a sin to explode, God eliminating the entire damn it. complex. Narrator! Long until detonation, then. Screw you! Let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time wow. to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desire. What's going on? Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. <sighs> What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. I don't like that. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground. I didn't do anything. Following everyone inside, or I let it burn to Ah, the door's open. Oh, God. Say this, Damn it. Though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around ah. will be even better. My this goodness, is the way I could do only something. 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? <sighs> These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I did. I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, uh, screen to screen, clicking on every little button. thing in this room. These numbered Okay, buttons. let's no, no. These colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, it's gotta be. anything. Uh, Something here will save me. Why would you try that, five, two, one. That this video game can be beaten? I have one, one, five, two, one, five, two. Do you have any let's idea that. Five, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> let's try it. Let's try it. Come on. Come on. Uh. You're in for quite a disappointment. Five! But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. I don't believe you're you! You're still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made Did something? Humble. To do this anything. It's not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. 
so uh. you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 uh. seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Uh. Then you here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. What's Make going it. on? Oh, don't. It's all the same. Ah! All a part of the joke. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna be laughing at every second of your inevitable life. No! The him, until the moment I say, happily ever up. No! I died! I died. I am dead. Dead I am. Let's try it again, because I think there's a way to do it. Um, I think there's a way to do it. Should I try? I'll turn it off this time. Uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we can do something. Oh, and I start back at the beginning. Yay. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> and I start all the way at the beginning. Nice. Nice. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. God, this narrator guy is, like, really evil. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a way <laughs> of relief, Stanley decided to go to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. That, that was, that was funny. <laughs> he board, they boarded up the door because I kept trying to open it and go inside it. That, that's, that's pretty funny. I laughed. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could... Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Exactly. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few minutes <laughs> with some calming New Age music. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> ah, this is wonderful. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Boop. Eh. All right, big red button, big red button. Pushing a big red button. Ah. I am the Stanley Parable. I am going to take a drink of water. Ah, delicious water. Delicious water. Alright, so... Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh, maybe another time. I'll go through that. Ah, I was... Uh, I had second thoughts about it for a second, but I guess not. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Sam told himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Yes. I do have the strength to find out because I already know! Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true there I am. Employee 227. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. There I am. Stanley's co-workers. The lives I'm right. Of so many oh, I lost myself. Oh, there I am. The right there. Right there. there. And stand right there. Eternally okay. mounted in this place where freedom meant nothing. Let's continue on. Push this button. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? There we go. Let's go this way. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. 
or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this See. very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machine... Pushing the button off! Yes! Turn it off. What? Uh... What? It just happened. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. What? Was it over? Oh no. It's just beginning. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I know. But as sunlight well. streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Uh... Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Sure. Really? It's this short? Wow, that was kind of short. Not gonna lie. Maybe not worth $15. Maybe not. Well, we'll have to find out. I still have other pathways I still have to explore. See what happens. It just starts over again. Of course it does. Of course it does. Okay. That that's fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was quite enthralling for me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like the video, share the video, make love with the video, kiss the video, make sure that you copulate with the video, and have a great day.